Today, we'll be showcasing Mike Tyson's top 10 most brutal knockouts, like the time he destroyed a 7-foot giant to the time he ended a fight in 30 seconds. These knockouts are legendary. Let's start off with Tyson's fight against Trevor Burbick. The historic clash between Tyson and Burbick unfolded in an electrifying manner on that fateful November 22, 1986. The fight was held for the WBC heavyweight title, and it marked Tyson's first opportunity to win a major championship. With his incredible power and aggression, Tyson overwhelmed Burbick from the opening bell. You get the idea now that Burbick uh, uh, is showing a little false bravado here. In the second round, Tyson unleashed a devastating right hook that sent Burbick crashing to the canvas. The referee quickly counted Burbick out, declaring Tyson the winner by knockout. This victory made Tyson, at the age of 20, the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history, solidifying his status as a force to be reckoned with in the boxing world. Tyson vs. Larry Holmes Tyson vs. Larry Holmes was a highly anticipated fight that took place on January 22, 1988. Larry Holmes, a former heavyweight champion, stepped into the ring to challenge the rising star Mike Tyson. The bout showcased Tyson's relentless aggression and power. Throughout the fight, Tyson unleashed a barrage of punches, overwhelming Holmes. In the fourth round, Tyson landed a powerful right hand that sent Holmes crashing to the canvas. The referee counted Holmes out, awarding Tyson a knockout victory. Tyson vs. Michael Spinks The stage was set for an epic encounter as Tyson and Michael Spinks locked horns on June 27, 1988, stirring up an unprecedented level of excitement among boxing enthusiasts. It was a unification bout for the WBA, WBC, and IBF heavyweight titles. The clash between Tyson, known for his devastating power, and Spinks, an undefeated champion, created immense excitement. However, the fight lasted a mere 91 seconds. Tyson came out aggressively. Spinks was unable to beat the count, and Tyson emerged as the unified heavyweight champion with a brutal knockout victory, further solidifying his reputation as a fearsome force in the ring. Number 7 Tyson vs. Marvis Frazier took place on July 26, 1986, and it was a short-lived but brutal encounter. Marvis Frazier, the son of former heavyweight champion Joe Frazier, stepped into the ring with high hopes. However, Tyson wasted no time asserting his dominance. And the three knockdown rule is in effect. Okay. He comes out smoking like Marvis' father, Joe. Marvis must move. In just 30 seconds, Tyson launched a devastating left hook that landed flush on Frazier's chin, sending him crashing to the canvas. Frazier struggled to get up, but the referee reached the count of 10, resulting in a knockout victory for Tyson. On February 25, 1989, the anticipated rematch between Tyson and Frank Bruno captivated the masses, rekindling the flames of their fierce rivalry. The first fight between the two heavyweights ended with Tyson securing a knockout victory. In their second encounter, Tyson unleashed his trademark aggression and power. Every time he comes in, he's an old. He's playing Tyson's people wanted to bob it with their heads off. Bruno with the questionable chair. On Mike's side, he's not bobbing and weaving on Bruno off his feet. And that's saying something for 240. That's the first one he talked to Steve. After a hard-fought battle, Tyson cornered Bruno and landed a devastating uppercut in the fifth round. Tyson, Tyson, it on, it on. 
The punch rocked Bruno, causing him to stumble and fall to the canvas. Despite Bruno's efforts to get up, he was unable to beat the count, resulting in a brutal knockout victory for Tyson. This rematch showcased Tyson's ability to finish fights with his explosive punching power. Tyson vs. Carl Williams Witnessing a titanic clash between Tyson and Carl Williams on July 21, 1989, left spectators awestruck by the raw power and skill exhibited in the ring. The fight lasted a brief but intense 93 seconds. Tyson entered the ring with his signature aggression, while Williams aimed to prove himself as a formidable opponent. However, Tyson quickly overwhelmed Williams with a powerful left hook that sent the giant to the canvas. The punch sent Williams crashing to the canvas, and despite his efforts to regain his footing, the referee reached the count of 10, declaring Tyson the winner by knockout. Tyson vs. Peter McNeely The long-awaited battle between Tyson and Peter McNeely finally unfolded on August 19, 1995, sending shockwaves of excitement throughout the boxing world. It marked Mike Tyson's return to the ring after serving a prison sentence. The bout lasted a mere 89 seconds, with Tyson quickly asserting his dominance. McNeely, though willing, was no match for Tyson's power and aggression. Tyson unleashed a series of powerful punches that overwhelmed McNeely, causing him to stumble and leading his corner to throw in the towel. The fight was declared a technical knockout victory for Tyson. This comeback victory generated significant excitement and signaled Tyson's triumphant return to the world of boxing. Tyson vs. Andrew Golota was a significant bout that took place on October 20, 2000. Andrew Golota, known for his size and toughness, entered the ring as a challenging opponent for Tyson. However, Tyson quickly showcased his power and dominance. In the second round, Tyson unleashed a series of devastating punches that overwhelmed Golota. Eventually, Golota received a cut over his eye. He even asked his trainer to stop the fight twice between rounds. Before the third round, Golota decided not to continue. The referee raised Tyson's hand, declaring him the winner by technical knockout. The battle marked Tyson's brutality making his opponent give up mid-fight. Tyson vs. Clifford Etienne The eagerly awaited fight between Tyson and Clifford Etienne unfolded on February 22, 2003, setting hearts racing and minds buzzing with speculation. The bout lasted a mere 49 seconds, but it was filled with explosive action. Tyson wasted no time in launching a ferocious assault on Etienne. He landed a thunderous right that connected flush on Etienne's chin, sending him sprawling to the canvas. Etienne attempted to get up, but he was clearly dazed and unable to continue, leading the referee to stop the fight and declare Tyson the winner by knockout. Tyson vs. Jose Ribalta was a heavyweight clash that shocked people watching due to the pure power Tyson had over such a huge opponent. Ribalta was nearly seven feet tall and had a terrifying face-off stare. As the fight went on, Tyson would continue to hammer Ribalta, but due to the huge physical advantages, Ribalta would fight back and almost seemed invincible. Despite this, Tyson did manage to knock him down late into the fight. This time, bro. Hey, how you doing? You want to continue? Yeah, hey, yeah. Hell yeah. That's a fighter. And that's it. If you enjoyed watching that knockout, then you're going to enjoy witnessing Mike Tyson's legendary one punch knockouts. Click here to watch it.